The tourism minister says some of the taxes imposed on St. Lucians by Liat do not originate in St. Lucia. Alan Chastney has ordered a review of those taxes and says a report will be available in three weeks. He says Liat continues to blame government taxes for the escalating cost of tickets, but a preliminary review of the fair structure shows this statement is misleading. Chastney says not only are the majority of taxes St. Lucians pay on airline tickets not originated here, they may be illegal. They've added all these taxes on, which are again being betrayed as if they were government taxes. The only tax we have in St. Lucia is one tax, is a $25 U.S. departure tax. There is another charge, which is a service charge, but that charge is to the airline, not to the customer. And they're not supposed to be passing it on through a tax, and it cannot be done the manner in which it's being done. The last thing I want to do is accuse anything of anybody wrongfully. But I would say to you, at minimum, the manner in which um, these charges are being uh, portrayed to the, customer, the, the consumer is misleading. Chastney is demanding some answers from Liat. He's also questioning the fuel surcharge and recent baggage restrictions. The Civil Aviation Minister says customers are paying for the airline's inefficiencies. When the prices of oil went down to $35, we did not see a significant change in the fuel surcharge. I also believe that when you look at the existing airfares to travel between the region, and more in particular, that you're now limited to one bag, and any excess bag that you carry is 60 US dollars. This is not serving this region well. It is fair to say that although three countries are invested in Liat, that the burden of that investment is being passed on to the general public of this region. Chastney says the high airfares are affecting local tourism. The tourism minister says St. Lucia, particularly small hotels, depend on intra-regional travelers. At no other time is this more real than during the summer. He says at a time when governments are offering a host of concessions to keep their tourism industries alive, Liat's escalating fares are crippling the regional air travel. Given the competition that we have internationally and the adjustments that we're seeing people make internationally in terms of airlines lowering their fares, in terms of hotels lowering their, their room rates, governments reducing taxes, making all kinds of efforts and concessions to try to encourage this business to grow, we have not seen a similar pattern take place here in, in the Caribbean. Shasne says recently the Air and Seaports Authority wrote to Liat asking that one of the numerous taxes be removed, but the company has not responded. He's calling on regional air licensing boards to conduct similar investigations into the airline's fair structure. The local committee's report is expected in three weeks, and Shasne says at that time the government will determine its next move. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.